Hey guys, what is going on? It is Killer Puppy here, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be doing a tour of this beach house that I have built. I've been building this for about a week now, and I finished it a few days ago, and I thought I would make a tour of it. I haven't really posted Minecraft on the channel, so I hope you guys don't mind. I really haven't posted anything in a long time, so um, yeah, let's get right into the store. So starting off with the front yard, uh, this is the little mailbox area. This is going to send out into a road, maybe in a later stage, it's not going to just go into the river. Over here we have this nice little waterfall thing, I really like this, it just kind of protrudes out of this, you know, like terrain, whatever, I just kind of put some sandstone around it, I think it looks really cool. And then, so we'll start over here with the detached garage, you got a car on the driveway, so on the side here we just got some windows and then head inside. There's just one car in here, and then some chests and whatever, just kind of like your workbench or whatever, right there. So coming out this way, we got the flower bed here, and then we got the front porch, so let's head on inside. So this is the inside. Uh, if we go straight here, we have the dining room. Nice little table, not a huge dining room. Um, it's got a chandelier and some paintings and whatnot. If we go, if we take a right once we enter, we go to the living room. This is like the main room. It's got a, like a skylight there. Got a little thing that looks over onto the family room from upstairs. Um, if you continue this way, there is a bedroom. I guess like a little guest be bedroom, a really small bedroom. Got some windows that look out into the backyard. And then if you come back this way, there is a small little bathroom. Just a nice little blue bathroom with a toilet and a sink normal stuff that you might need and then if you come over this way you have a little closet with a window just looking out so let's continue back down the hall this way if you take a right instead of a well if you take a left and then take a right into this room this is the kitchen windows all around got some nice light coming in here natural light coming in here oops i just broke that oops and then uh that's basically oh wait no we got the office so yeah the office is in here i really like this office just nice and chic I guess and then you can look out into the nice waterfall and in the flower bed if you so choose and if you come back out here that is basically the end of the first floor so now let's head upstairs so I have a little windy staircase here just wanted to conserve as much space as possible so I put a little small staircase in here and this is the second floor so if you take a left as soon as you um, get up into the second floor this is actually my favorite room in the house it is the bathroom, I guess you could say it's the master bathroom. I don't really have a master bathroom or bedroom in this house, but I guess you could say this is it. But I really, really like this room. I like the colors. I like how I use the prismarine as a tiling. And it has a nice view into the ocean. And then you have a little like view up in the shower here that looks out into the ocean as well. And then you got a toilet here. And if you come through here, or if you come through this way, you actually have the bedroom. So it's a small little bedroom with a walk-in closet connected to it. And if you come out here onto the balcony, you can see out into the backyard. So if we head back now through the bedroom and you take a left, this is like a little sitting area just to chill and watch TV upstairs if you don't want to do it downstairs or something. And then here's just a little reading area, I guess, even though nobody reads anymore. And then a little balcony looking over into the family room. So that's basically it for the second floor, and now we're going to hop down to my favorite part of the house, and that is the basement. Honestly, the, my favorite ho part of this house is the outside, like the landscaping or whatever, but basement's probably my favorite part of the inside of the house. So if, after you come down all those stairs, you have this like water wall thing here. It doesn't really show up good with the shaders, but I really like this, and it's got some little tiles right behind it. So if you keep coming down this hallway, if you take a left, you'll go to a bedroom. This is kind of the girls' room, I guess you could say. You know, it's got like some lips on the wall, like some cool pink thing over here. Got a TV, got some shelving, and then you have a walk-in closet over here. And this one doesn't have a bathroom, but the boys' room does. And this is the boys' room. Nice brown and gray kind of color pattern. Got a smaller TV and a nice little uh, tree painting or whatever. And yeah, that's it. So I kind of like balance these out a little bit. This room has a walk-in closet. This one does not, but this one is closer to the bathroom. And speaking of the bathroom, this is what it looks like. 
this is a nice simple bathroom. I tried to do the same thing as I did with the one that I really liked with like halfway like through it I did like the diamond blocks instead of the prismarine. It didn't come out as good but I still really like it. Then you have a nice big shower right here, a toilet, and then a little kind of thing with your sink and your mirror on it, stuff like that. So if you head out of there and you take a right, you'll be actually be at the game room. So you have a ping pong table here, you have a little kitchen area, just a fridge, some cabinets, and a sink. And then if you go over here, you have a nice couch with a TV and an Xbox, and then just a little painting over here. And if you continue down and take a right at the end of the hallway, this room I think is pretty cool. It's just like a water heater room, like an electrical room. Got like the ducts or whatever up there. Just use end rods to like connect everything. I really like that. And yeah, that's basically it. So this is the last room of the house, the one that took me the longest to make. And it doesn't really fit the theme or anything, but I made a soccer field. So indoor soccer field here just took me a long time to clear this all out, but I really like it. I'm really big into soccer, so it's pretty cool to have this in my house, I guess. And then, like, the goals in indoor soccer, they're, like, just a black wall behind us, so there's no net, so that's why it looks like that. And then you got little bleachers over here in case you want to have people come over and watch, like, a pickup game or something. And this is pretty cool. My soccer number is 7, so I put it on a banner, and then I wrote my last name. Kind of like, I don't know, it's my field or whatever, and I, like, named it whatever, 7 capital, so... That is basically it for the inside of the house, and now let's go take a look at the outside. So if you come up from the basement and you come in between the kitchen and the dining room, you're going to find a door leading to the backyard. The backyard is probably one of my favorite parts of this entire house. Just got a lot of stuff to do, a lot of fun stuff to do, and you're right on the beach, so that makes it a whole lot nicer. So if you come, take a left right once you get into the backyard, you're going to see a barbecue area just like a little grill or whatever make something on the grill eat around it you know pretty cool and then if you continue straight you'll find the pool nice decent sized pool and then if you continue past the pool you'll be at the volleyball net and then after the volleyball net you have these little lounge chairs here just with a table in between them just to like chill here drink and then like jump in the ocean or whatever pretty cool and then I kind of like continued the wall design from the front yard all the way around here to kind of like it just kind of fences off the like sandy kind of gravelly stuff with the actual grass that I will probably end up making something over here eventually and then if you continue all the way to the back of the yard you have a dock that leads to jet skis so you can see our jet skis you got two of them so you can ride around with somebody else go to the like island over there or whatever but that's basically it for the backyard. Oh, I almost forgot about this thing. I put a little doghouse here with a little dog just chilling next to it. Got some grassy area for him to go to the bathroom or whatever. And that's just where the dogs chill. So that is pretty much it for the entire house. You know, it looks like a big, a really big house from the outside. But inside, since you have to have double stack walls and everything, there's not a whole lot of space. If I didn't have that basement, this would have been like a two bedroom house. But it ended up being four bedrooms, so I specifically built it on like a normal world just so I could like go into a basement. So I had to take advantage of that. That's basically the only reason I made that soccer thing. But that's going to be it for the tour, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like. I'm going to try to start uploading. It's almost Christmas, which means I will hopefully be getting an Elgato, which I can start recording on Xbox. Do some Rocket League, maybe do some Madden. Probably going to do some new videos on Call of Duty Remastered. I haven't played that yet. I'll probably get that for Christmas, too. But if you guys are excited, make sure to leave a like. And that has been it. See you guys next time. Later.